Hi sports fans, it's me, Jeff, from Jeff's Mariners Fan Blog. Thanks for tuning in. Just wanted to give you a quick uh, spring training report. Believe it or not, our Seattle Mariners won again, uh, edging the Chicago Cubs 5-3 to three down in Peoria. Um, Doug Fister started this one, went four and a third innings, um, threw 78 pitches, gave up a couple runs, six hits. Well, he was Doug Fister. That's about what we're going to get for Fister. He's basically a number four starter, and he's slated to be part of that rotation. So thank God we got some hitters this year. It seems like we do anyway. Uh, Figgins, Adam Kennedy, and Justin Smoke all came up with big doubles during this game to knock in some runs, and we end up with a victory, 5-3. to three. So believe it or not, this is eight games in a row without a loss. Bearing in mind there was a tie in there. It's still quite a streak, and and things are looking good for our, our guys down there in Peoria. Speaking of spring training in Peoria, things are starting to get interesting. We're down to the last couple weeks. Tryouts are kind of over. Um, you know, a few guys have made impressions and they're hanging around, but things are starting to develop closer to what's going to be the 40-man roster and the 25-man roster. Now, what do I mean by that? First off, biggest news was Nate Robertson, who was brought over to get a shot uh, as the number five pitcher in the rotation. He's gone. Elbow injury. So, that simplifies that matter. Basically, right now we've got Felix, Vargas, Fister, Bedard, if he's healthy, and then it's down to basically Pineda and Luke French. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm all about Michael Pineda. And that sounds like a nice rotation, to be honest with you. So we'll, we'll see. There's a couple weeks left. Things are going to get interesting from here on out. And hopefully we'll come out of uh, camp with a decent squad. To me, it looks better than last year's team. I don't know about you guys, but it's looking better. A couple other developments. Um, you know, some moves were made today. More moves. Chris Seddon, uh, Greg Hallman. They're gone. They're going down. You know, they're going down to AAA, and that's okay. I mean, Hallman got another shot. The guy can hit home runs, but he also likes to, you know, well, he likes to fan. Mike Carp, where is he going? Back to Tacoma. Goodbye, Carp. I don't know what's going to happen with guys like Carp. Um, it's tough to say. In the infield positions, it's still interesting. There, we got Matt Tuiasasopo. Josh, Paperboy, Wilson, we're familiar with these guys. Adam Kennedy, the veteran, who is having a great spring. Uh, and Luis Rodriguez is around. Brendan Ryan. So we still got a mix in there. And Jack Wilson's playing great ball. So Smoke looks like our starting first baseman. Figgins is at third. Jack Wilson. This second baseman job, look it. They say Dustin Ackley may go down for the service requirement. Today... Jack Z, when asked about Pineda, said, no, the service requirement will not be a consideration. If these guys are ready, they're ready. I have a hunch they'll bring up one of the two. Probably Pineda, because they need him more. Keep Ackley down there. Use Adam Kennedy. Maybe the paper boy. Who knows? Brendan Ryan in that second base utility man. But somebody's got to go. A couple of them got to go. So it's hard to say what's going to happen there. In the outfield, what? Ichiro in right, Franklin Gutierrez in center, and I am going to go out on a limb and say it's going to be Milton Bradley. Milton Bradley is having a heck of a spring. Any way you cut it, Michael Saunders just readjusted his swing yesterday, or, or and he came through with a triple, but I just don't think he's ready. I see Saunders going back to triple A. What do you have after that? Gabe Gross, Ryan Langerhans, now that Hallman's gone, you still have this guy, Mike Wilson, who's been kicking around in AAA for several years, hitting a lot of home runs, can't field that well. Mike Wilson could be one of these odd man out type guys. He's, I believe he's like 28 years old, 27, 28 years old. And you can't just keep putting him in AAA if he's not going to make the majors. So I don't know what's going to happen with him. I'm not excited about Langerhands. And Gabe Gross is, I, well, I guess he's a step up from Ryan Langerhand. So we'll just, we'll just put it there. 
That's how things are developing, and it's going to get quick from here on. We've got two weeks left. Other teams are, are, are getting down to what's closer to their you know opening day lineups, and the game should get more interesting. Apparently, we have a game on TV on March 16th. That's the middle of the week. It should be a night game, so that should be nice. Tomorrow is a day off. Take the day off. I'll be taking the day off, but I'll be back to you, and this season is moving along. It's exciting. Hope you're on board. Follow me at www.jeffsmariners.com, Facebook, Jeff's Mariners, Twitter, Jeff's Mariners. You got it. I'll see you around. Go Mariners.